Hi everyone and welcome to a new video tutorial. Today I will show you a very nice trick for sewing crochet work. So by now you should have seen the sandy beach vest on my blog. If you haven't seen it be before or if you haven't seen it yet, you can go to the blog. I will link my blog post in the description box and you can see how to make this vest step by step in the written pattern and when you finish the three pieces that i mentioned in the post so you will have one back piece and two side pieces front side front side pieces so in this tutorial i will show you how to sew the edges very easily, very nicely, seamlessly. So now I will show you how the sewing would look like. So here I've sewed the first two pieces together. It's like a cord from the inside side and from the outside you will see that it's seamless. It's completely seamless. Look how it looks like. Yes, it's amazing and it's not thick, it's very smooth and you will love this technique. And here you can see the part, the upper part, the shoulder part. And from the other side, it looks like this. So keep on watching to see how to make this technique. And before starting the technique, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share this technique with all your beloved ones okay so first of all we need to put the pieces on a flat surface facing the ground so the outside or the outer side should be facing the ground side and the seam should be to our side so here I'm going to align the two pieces together and to make sure that the pieces don't move I will pin them together from several points first I will start from the edges just to make sure that the rows are aligned perfectly and here I'm oh, sorry I'm pinning the other side or the other point and here are the armpits and this is the upper side so I've pinned this part and this part so now I have the outer points pinned together and then I will check the alignment and again right here I will pin the two pieces together and that's it I've used three pins to pin the pieces together next I will take my tapestry needle or my sewing needle I prefer to use a metal sewing needle with a big opening because I feel that it gives me a seam, a more seamless uh, result and it's more precise. So here I've inserted a thread from the same yarn in the needle and what I'm going to do is I will make a knot from the edge like this and once again and I will pull it like this so first of all I'm going to remove this pin and realign the this edge like this and here you should be very careful and watch the steps very carefully so I'm taking my needle and I will insert 
the needle from the side of the first stitch from the back part and I will insert it in the same stitch but from the side part like this so your needle should be flat it shouldn't be like this they should be flat on the surface that insert the needle from both sides and pull your yarn like this okay this is the first step next I will insert the needle at the top of the first stitch from the side right here okay you can see that I'm inserting the needle again flat on the surface so insert the needle and again from the other side and pull it again but this time don't pull it till the end keep a loop a big loop and here as you can see this loop should be also flat on the surface I will insert the needle from inside the loop and this will make a knot I don't know if you can see it but I will try to zoom in to show it to you more precisely so I will repeat the steps after I finished sewing the first row together from both sides I will go for the second row I will start sewing them together so this row is a treble crochet row so here we should do three sewing steps so here we did two because this these are double crochet rows but here they are treble crochets so again I will insert my needle at the bottom of this stitch from both sides and I will pull the needle flat on the surface like this and again from this loop you can see it I will make a knot and pull the yarn and make sure that your yarn isn't loose so you can see I, it's forming like a cord in between the two sides then I will insert my needle at the center of these two stitches and I repeat I will repeat the same steps notice that I'm taking my thread to the right side and pulling it to tighten the stitches or the knots and finally I will insert my needle at the top of these two treble crochets like this and again make a knot and put the yarn to the right side to fasten the knots and you should continue working with this needle and the stitches aligning the rows together so when you have a single crochet you should do one knot when you have double crochets you should do, do two and when you have triple crochets you should do three to make it very even and very seamless so finish this part and come back to see how I'm going to sew the shoulder part together so for the shoulder part I'm still working at the same side from the inside of the vest notice that the shoulder part will be from the top of the stitches so the sides on the sides we were sewing the sides of the stitches now we are sewing at the top 
of the stitches. And the last row is a double crochet row. So this would be easy. I will remove this pin. And again, I'm going to lay my work flat on the ground or on a flat surface. For that, the stitches are aligned perfectly and count them in case you miss place the two pieces. So here I will count two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, right here. Okay, so these are the two loops of the upper part of the stitch. So I'm not going to insert my needle from the both loops. I will insert it from the back loop and from the other side I will insert it from the front loop not from the back loop and I will pull the yarn okay next I will insert my needle from in the back loop of the other side right here and the front loop of the second stitch from the first side like this and i will pull my yarn and here leave a loop and insert your needle inside it and then make a knot remember that we need to take the thread to the right to fasten the knots next i will insert my needle again in the back loop of this side and in the front loop of this side and now we're working uh, in the third stitch from each side and again pull your yarn make a knot and take it to the right like this continue working with this technique until you finish the sewing and you should have a seamless sewing that's it guys these are the steps you need to know about sewing any crochet piece